Hello and welcome to day 11 of my 12 days of Game Pass series. In this series we have been playing a different game from Game Pass every day for a couple of hours and deciding from that whether we would like to continue it online as a let's play, continue it offline by myself or uh, if I've had enough, if a taster is all I needed of that game. So today on day 11 we are trying out Opus Echo of Starsung. This is developed by Sigono Inc. It was released on the 1st of September 2021 and there was more recently an update this year as well which added voice acting. More on that in a second. So I'm just going to read the description first. Opus Echo of Starsong Full Bloom Edition is a definitive edition of the visual novel style adventure game now with all new voice acting. Asteroids emitting a sound known as star songs have become the centre of conflict for the immense power they hold. Determined to claim asteroids of his own, a young man ventures out with a girl who can imitate star songs, lending her voice to unravel an ancient myth deep in the heart of space. So, we're back in space again. We've been doing a lot of space in lately. <laughs> uh, but this time in a different genre once again. So. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Every time, if you are planning on recording something that is visual novel-like and you read the words, now with voice acting, you like absolutely celebrate inside. It is just the best thing. Uh, the issue is, I've gone into the game, it's asked me to choose a language. The voice acting is in um, Japanese or Chinese, so it's either one of those or no voice acting at all. And then we have English subtitles. I'm not exactly the best, uh, I'm not exactly sure the best way to approach this because like if I've got the Japanese voiceover on, I'm not gonna be reading the subtitles out loud, um, which means that people need to obviously pay a little bit more attention to read the subtitles for themselves. That's the way I think I'd like to do it because I do like hearing the voice acting even if I can't understand it. Uh, the other alternative is no voice acting and me reading it all. But I'm not like a voice actor, I don't do voices for different roles and stuff like that or like very tinily, I'll change my voice a little bit. Um, so I think we're gonna go with the Japanese voiceover and maybe this will be a bit more of a chiller, quieter um, video for me while we just absorb the story and see what this game's about. Like it has really what good reviews and we're just gonna have to kind of go with the flow with it because I'm also not sure um, if the voice is just gonna continue, like be continuous so I won't have time to talk in between or if I'm gonna have to click to move on because um, there's no options for that in the settings. So we really are just going in blind and we're gonna figure it out as we go. Shall we begin? Uh, I guess this is where we start. Enter Lumen Cave. I think it's all keyboard, no mouse. So let's enter Lumen Cave. I mean, the music is gorgeous. Unregistered asteroid, unknown Lumen Cave. Ship AI. Okay, so we do get to click through. Asteroid center gravity, 0 0.8 standard G. So ship AI, like this is our spaceship? Cave ecological conditions, ideal. Oxygen levels 19% sufficient, prepared for landing. Whose ship? Oh, it's this ship. Okay, so this ship decided that this is space. Okay. okay, so I do have control of the pace of the dialogue as well. Uh, so I guess this this is good then. I, I'll be able to make my comments between sentences and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what Taiyang is. By Taiyang's mercy, commencing exploration. So I guess I'm just going to kind of comment on the different characters as we get to see them and stuff like that. Uh, and what, what I figure out about the world as we go. But I'm not going to reread all of the lines. I don't think.
So this is a space explorer guy? Okay, so clan master. So this guy here maybe is the clan master. And then East Ocean Noble. This is like some sort of king. King and a clan master. Okay. <laughs> oh, this, this is this a stubborn guy who's like, no, I will do it myself. I'm a strong, independent clan leader. He's experienced, though. Okay, so he's experienced and he's caring. He's like, why don't you retire, my dude? Nazi. <laughs> そこまでにしておけ。申し訳ございません。聞きなさい。今この時を持って私はただのリバクだ。飛び気の当主ではない。Old John. So I'm no longer head of the Lee clan. That's like Okay, he's stepping down so he is retiring. The other guy is like We've been doing so much stuff, but the, you've just met someone new. What, are we like looking for, has someone gone missing that we've maybe not known for very long? And now we're going on a dangerous quest to save them? You have to respect that, right? Ooh. I feel like you have to respect that. Um, what would we have him do? Just sit until he dies? That's like something is that what he said? Oh god, I've already forgotten everything. Miria, the Lumen gave birth to a civilization? Okay. Marian inscription six orbis six circum seven gr gradus may the eons re realign the stars so we may find each other in death so is this like coordinates kodai mando no otoko kuro to tomo ni iki saiyai no hito to deau koto ga kanawa nakatta ryumyaku no aruji Oh, I thought it was like exclaiming. Oh, Helios, like when you're like Jesus. <laughs> Lord of Myria, okay. Eternal separation is sad, got to admit. Mando Bumme wa Duse o Hokoruga. Gain Hume no Metsubo o Mukaita. That's quite a big thing to happen for unknown reasons, a civilization. Ruined. Okay. Maybe it was the Lumen. Either. Maybe it was the Lumen that destroyed it. If we have another chance, I hope we don't lose ourselves to the Lumen. What is it? Is it addictive? Is it power? Is it a drug? 
Says Ida, the girl that he's looking for that he hasn't known for very long, but he's dedicating his retirement to finding her because he let her down or something. So we have some magic. So the magic is the song. So Opus, Echo of Sa Song. I think the the song is gonna be magic. Was this like a flashback or a flash forward? Okay. Seeker of Lumen bring honor. We can do that. Oh. Oh. I wonder if that was good advice then. So this was... Uh, this is Jung Lee who we were just playing ours. Mother's last words was to to be a lumen seeker or something. And that he did, I guess. Near the edges of the galaxy, okay. <laughs> oh god, I'm never gonna keep up. Hundred years ago, near the edges of the galaxy, there was a solar system known as Thousand Peaks. Uh, so is this the ruins that we were talking about? So the lumen is like a really valuable resource. Okay, I'm very slow at reading. I am tempted to maybe turn the voice acting off and just read it out myself. Just because I think I take it in better when I'm reading. And I want to hear the voice acting, but also I can't understand it and I'm not going to talk over them. And it will like double the time if we're listening to it every time, you know? Let's try a quick little bit without it. Oh, well, after this cutscene, because I can't get in the sentence right now. Within years, the once secluded region became a hotbed of conflict between factions from every corner of the galaxy, fighting to gain control of the Lumen. Like, everyone? Okay. That's the other thing when you can't understand is you think the end of the sentence is the end of the paragraph and it's not. <laughs> um, the Lumen War, which lasted 20 years and millions of like, that's a lot. Of course, it was the Megacorp that, uh, <laughs> that won. So, United Mining. I guess they mined the Loom. I've already forgotten what it's called. Loom thing? しかし、so they were technically in control, but people were still like fighting to try and get their own or like take it off them and stuff. Okay. Makes sense. What were they even doing with it? Like, 
So they were mine. United Mine and were mining it, but it wasn't publicly available. But it's regulated. It just kind of all depends what it does as to how this goes. Oh, so that changed. Yeah, that did it. Uh, and I guess we were a Lumen Seeker explorer also, and, and we found Thousand Peaks the Haven. Oh. Glory and untold riches. Like, what is this stuff? An exile? I. His mom told him to do this, but he's also an exile? Oh, I guess. <laughs> guess Ida wasn't that recent then. My my mistake. That was my mistake. Chapter one. Oh, are these like all for different chapters? There was like seven of them or something. United Mining Sector Nine. Lumen. Oh, that was far too fast. Fortune 9. Migrants Bazaar. Oh, but Chan, you are moody this year. Tansawa, so be Janai. Capybarian Trader? I still can't get into the settings. God damn it. Um, Capybar. Right, just take this in for a second. A humanoid capybara lives in the galaxy and is talking to us. Give up cave runner. You don't have what it takes to find caves. And there's shit talking us. Wow. Okay. So the old man at the end we were playing, we, we that was like the end and we are now flashing back to when we met a girl. Okay, so this is the same guy. This is John. And we're trying to buy intel. And we're being swindled. Ah, we've just got some sort of picture <laughs> in like uh, <laughs> in in space, basically. Could be anywhere. And there's also witches. Miko. Apparently. So East Ocean, you know the person uh who was talking to us in that intro? He was East Ocean Noble or something? So, someone from home? But we're in exile. I think they did. They did honor the deal. Maybe we should have asked about witches. I do feel like we're giving off amateurish vibes right now. Whoa, what are you, what are you, no, no, put, put me down. Whoa, who is this protecting us? From an insult, no less. Put the capybara down! Okay. I guess we do know what a witch is and we don't work with them. 
Is the Is this that guy or that guy's dad or something? That guy who I was talking about? It's a noble. <laughs> Let go of the capybara. Oh. So we didn't help um once the mining company kind of took claim over all of the lumen we did not help get it back to like public uh thing and then but now we've come back now that it is public and they are pissed at us I'm with I'm with this capybarian right now. I I feel like they assumed we had a witch because most people have a witch. So I don't think that we got scammed. How do you want me to handle this? Ooh. <gasps> Let him go. We can talk this through or beat him up. Beat him until he gives up the intel. No, we're not beating him. Let him go. <laughs> Poor capybara scruff. Okay. Who are you? Are we getting now we're getting like outsold, like no outbidden. Is this her? No, 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 so they are... They... they are just completely making this deal like we're just still stood here listening and we don't exist anymore in their worlds because they're just making this deal what if this was planned though so that we would have to bid higher you know I don't think so, but I'm just sus of everyone. Ada. Ada's bluffing. Tell the girl to stop the transaction or send K to stop them. Uh, I was gonna send K to stop them. <laughs> I don't know if that's um the right thing to do though. Because should we stand up for ourselves? I mean I feel like we are young and amateur, so let's send K to stop them. Yes, sir! <laughs> Who's this? Eddie. Like, Eda? Ed Edda is her name? Edda? Eda? Eddie? I don't know. Oh, this is literally a child. Kaido, these are professionals. Absolute professionals. They're wearing the same kind of clothes. Like, they've got the same logo and stuff. Maybe they're in a clan. Remy.。もし信じられないなら、これを。詐欺師は大体自分も被害者だって言うの。テンプレ野郎。I mean, we were trying to help. Ramiya, just stop. 
三怪人をいじめるような奴らに遠慮はいらないでしょう。ピーカス。What's ピーカス。ごめんなさいね。もちろんさ。Oops。この写真見てよ。でも。暴力で解決する人は嫌い。I wasn't violent. There was no violence. Except the grab. Okay, the. <laughs> The grab of the capybara was a little bit violent, but nobody got hurt. Never last in paths. Does that mean I hope I never see you again? <laughs> What is wrong with these people? Let's go, John. You can't blame them. East Ocean did promise Thousand Peaks during the war that it wouldn't surrender to United Mining. Oh, so they, it, they did. Okay. But we ended up being the first to do so. Oh, damn. I mean, it's not our fault if our government did that. Unless we are them people. Hard to complain about people hating us after what happened. We were so close to getting the intel. Hey, don't worry. We can get the Lumen Association to help. Oh, like a more legit way to get information? When were they ever willing to help us? Well, the rat said he's from the association. If we go and tell, him, tell them about our unfinished business, I'm sure they'd be willing to help out. Is the capybara the rat? Is that what they mean? Right, what is happening here then? Lumen Association, Trade Transfer Station 429. This is where Ida and I first met. Kay wasn't too fond of them. From what I remember, the place was a bustling sta sta space station. Okay, I guess this is just a betweeny scene. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second, because I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm trying to was the it and I need to use the arrows. Fortune 9 was an up and coming training hub that served as a transition point between the restricted area and the asteroid belt. Okay, up and coming back then. Even though it was hard to trust the traders around here, Lumen Intel was the primary product for sale. That's one of the reasons Kay and I came here to investigate Lumen. Okay, so right. The restricted area. Is that the Lumen asteroid? Oh no, that must be the asteroid belt. Okay, there's a restricted area though, which seems important. Like, we're right in between it. Okay, so these flags are probably information, and then maybe this is like, go to an area. The flashing ones, like, move on. Mirian Shrine Helios. Uh, may Helios blessings be upon you. Is this where we were at the beginning? We did say that, um, something about where, when we first met. This is how everyone greeted us as we walked to the center of the shrine. Oh, may Helios blessings be upon you. It is said, oh, so Helios was like a, not a cuss, but like a exclamation. It said that Helios came down from the heavens, bringing blessings to Thousand Peak. The myth ends when Ignis calling the wrath of heavens down upon the land. Oh, the myth ends with Ignis calling the wrath of heavens down upon the land. But that does not deter the faithful who still exist in great numbers. Oh. What's the wrath of heavens? Is that when the Lumen arrived? In asteroids? Uh, right, Lumen Association. Still no access to pores at all. Hmm. In cooperation with United Mining, the Lumen Association was set up in the 18th and final year of the Lumen War to resolve disputes regarding mining rights. 18th and final year? I thought it went on for 20 years. Uh... So this was set up with the mining company. And the mining company over only took off uh, at the end of the war. So only took over then. A system was put in place to resolve conflicts and give intel brokers legal standing. 
with the goal of maintaining stability in Thousand Peaks and preventing further bloodshed. Or was... Was... Did United Mining... Uh, did United Mining take an over not end the war? Because, like, it said the United Mining took over. I thought that ended the war, but then it kind of kicked off again. But maybe that's all still classed as the war. I'm not sure. But this system seems to have been put into place after that. Uh, Lumen Association Merchant. Yet another victim. You're not from here, are you? We don't know this trader. Wait, who? But he showed us his association ID. Is it the Capybara? Fortune 9 is a new trading hub. The place is full of scammers. We've been scammed. Listen. These traders team up with local pirates and send people like you to their bases using fake intel. Once they ambush you, they'll disassemble your ship and sell the parts on the black market. Oh shit. And I bet we just let this girl go off and live happily ever after. <laughs> right? Is this a photo he showed you? You may think this is an untouched cave, but it's actually home base to the Bones Brigade. A gang of pirates notorious for smuggling lumen. A capybarian pirate. Amazing. Any runner with some common sense would know to stay away from this place. You don't have a witch, do you? Here, I'll give you coordinates. Hmm. They make it really hard to get to, though. Like, we wouldn't have made it there because we, we don't have a witch, I guess. They do it so they don't immediately get caught or something. Also, this person doesn't have eyes. Does anyone have eyes? This witch's star song was copied recently. Passing it will give you the exact location. If you've got nothing better to do, you're welcome to get rid of them for us. And tell any runner you know to keep an eye out. The association isn't here to babysit outsiders, you know. Okay, we got a pirate recorded star song. Uh, star songs rumbles from the depths of asteroids. And that's where the lumen is as well, right? Inside the asteroids. By analyzing them, one could glean the coordinates of lumen asteroids, making them highly coveted items in the marketplace. However, only the emissaries of Myrian gods, the witches, could record them. So, okay, this has given us some information. The witches are the uh, emissary, emissaries of Myrian gods. I'm, it would help if I knew what em emissary means. Uh, but they have something to do with gods. Um, so, star songs are rumbles from the depths of the asteroids. Okay. Star song, because the asteroid's like a little star and it's singing. Okay. This is a licensed operation under the Lumen Mining Act. What can I do for you, Runner? So, oh, right, that was like a new interaction. Well, I mean, you've just given me something, but let's... What can we buy? According to our regulations, parties who wish to trade in our branches must include at least one local resident. Oh, so, because we're both from far away... And we're disliked. We can't buy anything. I bet we can't sell anything. Yeah. Okay, well, let's leave then. Okay, and then we have a navigator. Once we've looked at all the options. So, like, yeah, the flags have got to be, like, points of interest or something. And then the little town thing is, like, or the little, I don't even know what that is, like a little house on a hill is like places that you can go to. I wish I could pause. I'll get the settings menu by 
Tai Yang's mercy. I hope those girls never find the place. We should go warn them. I knew we were going to go warn them. It's the start of a... I was going to say romance. I don't know if it's a romance considering something happened. Whatever happened. But I don't know. It's their own business. Nothing we can do about it. I mean, they did... They did just absolutely try and like if this was legit information they they would have absolutely screwed us over but you're still concerned of course i am okay john's a good boy do you remember why we're here in thousand peaks young master find ooh, find lumen caves restore honor and prosperity to the clan i know this isn't the time to help others but if we team up with them then we'll be able to use the shops maybe if if they're locals well maybe the maybe helping these people out will restore some honor too okay good lumen don't get all happy yet if things were the other way around, they would have left you to the pirates without buying an eye. That's what I'm saying. Let's pass the Star Song Association. What? Let's pass. Oh, let's pass the Star Song the Association gave us to see where they went. How do we know that's where they went? I thought they gave us a Star Song of something else. Like, why would they give us the star song of the pirate place? Hmm. So use this to look around. Focus your tag on location, then C to bring up its information. So the current location is the trade transfer station. This asteroid is probably the thing. Uh, the pirate place. West Mount Tonitris. Is that... Have we got two suns here? Star Ignis. We heard about Ignis before, didn't we? Okay. So I guess maybe we'll have choices of where to go later. Maybe. Oh yeah, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Analyzing signal. Electromagnetic scan complete. Potentially undiscovered cave. Because if we go into a new place, we're not going to bump into the girls. Uh, revolution. Okay, I don't know what that means. Asteroid 745. 745. We should be keeping our heads down. We're still on the run. It would have been better not to get involved. So, I don't suppose you're talking about on the run from picking up a capybara by the scruff of the neck maybe this is on the run after being exiled although if you're exiled you're not on the run i don't know okay you can't just take back your word like that i know i just hope we don't get into any trouble we're just catching up to warn them it'll be fine fine but you're gonna regret this they have a witch on their ship What exactly are witches anyway? This is a good question. Something to do with the gods. War machines? Our clan rarely talks about them. But they were the main reason why East Ocean was defeated in the Lumen War. Why we were defeated? Okay. If it wasn't for their ability to detect Lumen, I doubt anyone would like them. So they have a natural ability to detect it, but they're also assholes. Looks like an average lumen cave. Well, this is the one in the photograph, no? Look closer. See those entrances on the side? That's a sure sign this place is being converted. This is an organized gang. So are those two... No signs of any ships nearby. Must have already... Must have been lured in already. Oh, so they've gone in through the entrance? Can't say for sure what'll happen to them. If they're lucky, they'll just lose their ship. And if they aren't, well... Isn't there anything we can do? 
I mean, the other the other thing about this is, if they disassemble the ship, how do they then get rid of the people? You know? Seems terrible. We'll have to leave the ship outside and sneak in through one of the entrances. I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. Remember to follow my orders once we're in. Sorry, I didn't expect this to be dangerous. Uh, this is some pirates. No biggie. Grab your siphon scepter. No. Synth scepter. Synth scepter? Yeah, synth scepter. We better get going. Obtain star song synth scepter. What is this? Raise thy scepter and play the song of the stars. Even to this day, uh, precepts passed down during my training as a cave runner. Wait, what? Even to this day, the precepts passed down during my training as a cave runner remained clear in my mind. So this is stuff we got taught. Okay, asteroid 745. As I recall, this was the first Lumen cave I ever set foot in since arriving to Thousand Peaks. The anxiety of knowing that it was also a pirate base did little to contain my excitement. So we're actually really excited about this. Um, awesome. We're gonna go and fight some pirates. So we also have memories and navigator. Let's just check and see what memories is. Oh, so this is gonna be like, whoa. A lot of stuff. Ship components, Newman plants. Items of the Peaks, Mirian Mythology, Star Songs. Oh yeah, we got that one. Places of the Peaks. Whoa, there is a lot. Moments in time. Okay. <laughs> the Capybara. <laughs> Alright. Um, was this from the beginning when he was... When he was old? Or is this from a flashback to the war? Right. Cool, so memories is like collectible stuff. And that dot next to it is just a symbol, it's not a notification, it seems. Okay. I tried to seven four five lumen cave. Pirate base, you can add on there. What if the the two girls have already beaten the pirates? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. We tried to bribe Wait, what? Mazua, Kansas Karab. Tomate. Oh dear. Oh, they snuck in? They didn't get lured in? Is this that big door? From the start? Maybe all dolls are like that. Okay, hold on a second. Finally. That took a long time to be able to do that. Oh. Wait, did I just turn the subtitles off? <laughs> voice. Yeah, voice disabled. Okay, let's just do all the reading. It's gonna help. Oh, and we can now access memories anytime. Well, anytime we're in this part of the game. Okay, I see pirates. There's, there's been a few running past. There's some up there. Is there some way to sneak through that gate? Only war veterans can convert caves into bases like this. These people don't mess around. Also, the way that door opens, I just don't think there's a sneaky way to open that door in the first place. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, I can like decide whether to walk forwards and backwards and stuff. Oh. I wonder what that contraption is for. Music? Looks musical. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything I can interact with. Like, I don't know if 
it's if the UI is like um, as you approach something. Okay, I can't go back there. Uh, or if it's always on the screen. So for now, I'll just like keep getting close to things until I figure that out. It's always going to be the same thing, isn't it? Let's check. Yeah, I wonder what that contraption is for. It looks musical. Maybe it's a way to unlock the door. Over here. Be careful when you climb the scaffolding. We don't want to draw attention. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's a shame it has to be C. <laughs> uh, and not something nearer the arrow keys. So I can just play one-handed. I told you to keep up. What's with the mural? I've seen this image back home. Wouldn't be surprised. This is where Lumen civilization supposedly came from, after all. You've seen this at home. Is this... By Taiyang's mercy, our faith really is connected to the Mirian culture in Thousand Peaks. Well, they're all caves to me. Sorry, let's move on. Okay, holy suffering. Oh, the Orbis Circumen greatest thing must be... It's not coordinates, it's time. Uh, like years, days, weeks or whatever. This mural depicts the myth of how Ignis' ice blue essence was transformed into Lumen after his flames has faded. The Lumen flowed without end and eventually given birth to the Mirian gods. However, their ability to control the energy of Ignis within them meant that at any moment they might be engulfed in flames or suffering. What? So the energy of Ignis is the lumen and you might be engulfed in flames and suffering. I don't know if that's like metaphorical or if it literally just sets you on fire because right ice blue essence. Hold on. Okay I've reread it and actually taken it in this time. So yeah it was like Ignis is like the god of the gods, right? The flame faded, the essence just like leaked out and turned into Lumen, and then Lumen was like the nutrient soup that created gods. <laughs> um, and the gods couldn't control the Lumen. So there we go. Or like Ignis is god, and then the Mirian gods are all like baby Jesuses. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, but they tried to control this, but they couldn't. Three memories collected. Whoops. Okay. Holy suffering. I'm still not entirely sure what it's portraying, though, in the image. Is that the flame going out? There's a gate here too. Don't touch it. We don't want to draw attention. Don't worry, I wasn't going to. Let's go then. Uh, do we need to remember these gates are here? If we look, so this one looks a lot clear, a lot more clearly like a flame head. Right? It looks like a person who's raising their hands to their face, but their head is just flames. The one, uh, what I'm talking about is the door, by the way, in the center of the door. Do we have to stealth? Their pods just up ahead. Don't get any ideas. Cause like I was wondering if these guys are from our city. No one's patrolling that spot. We should try to get over there. Like maybe we know these pirates. Maybe they come from the East Ocean. Look around for a way up. I'll keep watch. They have terrible posture though. Look for a way up. Oh, this way. Okay, I found it. Good, let's go. Easy peasy. Is 
This is a big, a big place. Those ships look like they're illegally modified. <gasps> no way. Pirates would illegally modify their ships? It's just rude. They probably break up the ships they snatch to build these or sell the parts onto the black market. Yeah, so they probably keep some parts of the ships that they're disassembling to upgrade their own ships because what's a pirate without a ship? I also really like that space pirates have ships just like real pirates have ships like it's just a <laughs> it's a very satisfying fact to me I haven't seen any more of the the highlighty things this spot should be safe how do you know okay what's wrong aren't you gonna open the gate I'm waiting for your orders I see you've already grown as a runner. That copy I made of the Witcher Star song, did you bring it? Of course. Okay, so we have a copy. A star song that had been copied countless times. It was so degraded that the audio could hardly be made out. The sound seduced countless runners into the same perilous situation. But it was also what brought Ida and I together. That's funny. If we fall for another scam, but it's kind of like, you know, in the olden days when if you wanted a ringtone, you would like find a way to play the music and then record it onto your phone. <laughs> so like, it's like a recording of a recording and then like there's layers to it and that's what's happened to this USB which I assume is a USB of a Witcher Star song. That's funny. Some things never change. Good. Try performing it to open the gate. Performing it? Oh. On the musical things? Oh, God. Oh. Cop copy of Witcher Star song. Whoa, it's big. Oh, there's not much to performance then. We just gotta click it and wave it. Nothing happened? Because the sample is too degraded. Then why did you... Calm down, I was trying to teach you a lesson. Keep your eyes open. You see that over there? Sung pipes, a contraction unique to Thousand Peaks. I knew it. It's not that new, unique. It's not that unique. We have those here too, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes when we're exploring, the per uh, the sample of a farmer just might not quite be up to scratch. Normally, this would bring our progress to a halt, just like our situation now, where we only have a second-hand sample. So we're gonna listen to it and play it as if. As if we're playing. Oh, no. It's just, it's gonna do it for us. <laughs> but it's as if these sung pipes exist to solve this very problem. Oh, well, that's a good thing they're here then. Although, it also released lots of lumen into the tubes. Even when we have a poor sample, by Taiyang's mercy, the lumen will guide our way. The lumen will guide our way. Okay, so the lumen is powering it. Song pipes. Archaeological research indicates that when the uh, Mirian gods cultivated, cultivation provided. Oh my god, I'm getting every word in this sentence wrong. Archaeological research indicates that when the Mirian gods' cultivation proved ineffective, they relied on song pipes to enhance their voices. Only then. Were they able to enter the gates? This unique feature made it uh, much easier for the modern cave runners to open them. Like, they were just thinking of their ancestors. No, not their aunt. Like, what's the opposite of ancestors? Like, their children's children's children. Future generations and all that. They were just thinking of, of us. Uh, let's see if we can go in it's 
So this is how it looks inside the pillar. Looks like it's been abandoned after all the valuables were excavated. This is our chance. Inside the pillar. Keep up. Are we stealing some lumen while we're here? Look at these canisters of lumen. This must be what they've been smuggling. If they've, res if they've resorted to robbing runners, I doubt there's much of it left. I mean, is this a finite resource eventually? Because like... I mean, when we first started finding oil or something, I, I bet we thought it was going to be endless, but I don't think it's going to be. Um, low quality hybrid lumium. Ignis is Miria's god of creation. Yes. And when the flames of his creation faded, they became a blue crystalline essence, which could be refined into a liquid or a gas. It can also be a gas. United Mining use it as an industrial fuel, and it is common by it's known by its common name, lumen. So it is an industrial fuel is one of its uses. I wonder if it's like a multi-use thing. Uh, like is the 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 causing wars and the you know the getting addicted to it is that all just metaphorical and like a reflection of like our history with oil and stuff? Uh, I wonder. I don't know. Okay, so lumium is its official name, but it gets called lumen. Low quality. Well, <laughs> fuck me. I'm getting all the letters muddled up as well. Low quality hybrid lumium. So it's like watered down. Feel robbed like when you go to a hotel and the orange juice is watered down. <laughs> That's always sad. At breakfast. I mean, these, like, there's, there's a lot of shapes that look familiar like, runes or something. Like, maybe the runes, not runes. Maybe they need, like, maybe they have languages. Good, you're keeping up. It's a dead end. Keep your eyes open. Let the lumen guide your way. Is that just the motto for lumen? Keep your eyes open. Let the lumen guide your way. Oh, there's a a music pipe thing there. Not bad. Come on. I'm going first. Okay. Tunnel time. What are we looking at? Are we going to use this crane? They really did a lot to convert this base. The gravity and lumen caves are somehow all within standard range. Not sure how it works, but it makes for decent bases. Imagine though, like, just finding a lumen cave and just calling it your home and just claiming it. That's cool. Like, imagine if instead of streets with terraced houses you had asteroids wild but also a really cool environment for like just a game do you know what i mean like exploring an asteroid like usually they're dangers right you'll be flying through them and they'll be wrecking your ship it would be really cool if they were just sort of still or just like floating around but not too bad and they were houses. I mean that's exactly what is happening here but I, I'm thinking in like an exploration game. Okay, but that that's a really fun idea. There are theories of Lumen being inseparable from gravity. It allowed the gods to communicate through time and space. Okay, so maybe it's just a little... Uh, it's more than oil. <laughs> Unless that's just a rumour. Let's save the lectures for later. Okay. I didn't think that was a lecture. It was in interesting facts. Science. 
it was more like songs and stuff. Oh, a lumen transmutation engine. I was thinking this dial here was for... I mean, that looks like a bit like a horn. Right, a lumen transmutation engine. What, didn't you see those during your training back home? Feels different to see the real deal, doesn't it? Is it like, uh, is this where they're watering it down? Mirian God Presido Presido The guardians of Lumen asteroids uh, Carvings of these deities could be found on Lumen valves So Lumen valves have this carving It's believed Presido is split into hundreds of forms present wherever Lumen can be found So it's, it is the Lumen or it's in the Lumen and they are guardians of the asteroids. Besides protecting Lumen, they are responsible for recording history and their accounts could be seen all over Mirian inscriptions. Is it like, I'm, from the diagram, is it like an unknown Pokemon or something? Is it like a flat shape thing that floats in the air? Or something else? Cause I'm not seeing like a figure, like a formed figure. This looks all dried up, so that's one of the lumen pipes, but it does seem like they may be running out. Here, this should be the main lumen tide liquid pipe. Normally these would reach deep into the asteroid. Would those two be down there? Well, if it's worth trying. The main shrines are usually near the core, which makes them good spots for establishing base camp. So, if they're draining this, they have to go like deeper and deeper to be able to extract it, won't they? And that's why they're usually near the core. Okay, so apparently we want to go down from there, but I feel like we... Oh, excuse me. I feel like we forgot our abseiling kit. The chamber needs luminide to produce lumium. So we're gonna let that flow in. Then what? Then we're gonna play the song. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I think I get it. Oh, okay, I've done things. Okay. That one works. It's pretty full. Alright, the chamber is full. Oh, there's the song machine. I see it at the right there. Now that the mu transmutation chamber is filled with luminite, you remember what to do next? Use a star song to activate the chamber so the luminite inside vaporizes into lumium gas. Okay, let's play out a song so that it can do its thing. It's kind of relatable. So now it's going to be flowing into that main pipe that we came past. What's happening? We've opened the portal for space and time. Looks like the chamber was too full, overloading the old machinery. Oops, that's probably my bad. Be careful. Lumen resonates with itself, so it's entirely possible to cause a chain reaction that blows up the whole place. Of course it's explosive. Okay. So if we make it too full, we kill everyone, but... It's already full, so let's um, play more music. So it's going through that thing, into this little tube, into here, and I guess this is a door. It's a tunnel. And I guess we came from over there. If this goes where I think it does, 
Those two from the market will be at the bottom. Just to be clear though, if the pirates use them as hostages to threaten us, I won't hesitate to kill them. Okay, we're here to save them. I doubt they would do the same for you. At least Kay has got our back. He's like eight standard hours ago. He's trying to help us, like, help these girls. But he's also like, I'll give it a go, but not to actually, like, put anyone in danger because of it. Are you sure this intel is legit? So this was eight hours something. <laughs> now we're back to the girls and they are arriving. So we're going to see what they did. I mean, those pirates that were running were like, there's a, a runner on board. I assumed they were talking about the girls, but maybe they were just talking about us. <laughs> maybe they weren't even caught. Can't say I'm entirely confident. I saw a lot of fake dealers when I was on the streets. This looks like one of those scams where people team up with pirates to rob people. So Remy the child is street smart. I know, but we need to take some risks. Fine, let's go through the plan one more time then. Of course, my dearest Remy. Plan A. If the intel is legit, you'll wait for me outside. Plan B. The place turns out to be a pirate base. I'll tell them I'm a witch. And convince them I can help them find Lumen Caves if they let me go. Oh, smart. Plan C. Is she actually a witch? I go silent for 24 hours. You'll try to contact me. And most importantly, no matter what happens, you'll come to save me. Exactly. Okay, so no contact in 24 hours will trigger Remy to go in. So Remy's not even coming in. That makes sense. And if we get caught, we, we're going to pretend that we're a witch. So we should maybe make our escape within 24 hours, hopefully. So it's just Eda or Edda or... I think Eda. One standard hour ago. I guess they're calling it standard hour as opposed to the timing. Oh, jeez. The timing that we found. So they still have guns in, in this space fantasy. Come out. No use in hiding. This guy looks like he's got some bees in his bonnet. Okay. Things went south. It's time for plan B. Um, okay. Like, shooting isn't a good way to get someone to come out. Just saying. I told you. I'm going to charge in to get you right now. No, we had a plan. Hold on. We don't know how many ships they have around. We stick with the plan. If I'm not out after 24 hours, contact Dr. Rushel. You coming out or not? Pay the ransom and your friends can come and get you. We play nice. Oh, so remember when I was like, if they're stripping the ships down, how are they like sending the people away? I was just assuming maybe they were just getting murdered. <laughs> like, it seems, well, I was going to say it seems easier to discard, discard bodies in space, but actually not really because like, yeah, they might get lost in space for eternity, but also they might just land on someone else's asteroid. Uh, but this makes more sense. So they'll contact the person's family or friends and say, bring money, come and collect them, let's exchange. That's pretty clever, actually. I should have thought of that. That just shows how absolutely fake my crimes persona is. <laughs> I don't know how to do, like, legit crimes. I just do petty crimes. Miria never lasting. Master, watch over me. Okay, so the right, yeah. At least this is all making more sense when we're getting a little bit of history about their gods, like Miria and stuff. Master, watch over me. Okay, so we came out. Don't shoot. But we are putting on a persona now. We are gonna 
I don't know if we are a witch or not, but we're gonna use that to get out. Looks like we have a young runner. Are you in charge of this place? I'm here to make a deal. That's what the last guy said as well. Surround her. Hey Tim, you found her friends yet? Tim? That's such a mundane name. Pirate, Tim the pirate. Oh, look at that. Um, look at the portrait. So like from, I guess just from looking at them, they look like quite like they've just got this bad posture they're like hunched and like they look a bit clumsy and villainous but then actually looking at the portrait they've got this like skull helmet this like bird skull thing and they look like really quite scary can't boss scanner's not showing any trace of their ship i bet that they have got illegal hardware on their ship as well some sort of cloaking <laughs> I'm serious. I'm here to talk. Looks like I underestimated you. Your pirate knows how to hide something. Pilot. <laughs> Not pirate. We know how the game works. Smiles. Just absolute smiles. Cut to the chase then. What are you here for? We only smuggle goods. No drugs. No hits. So who are you and what do you want? I'm a witch. What? Bones? This guy's name is Bones and yet he's the only one not wearing any bones? I need someone to help me find caves. Oh, I thought we were going to help them find caves. Oh, is that the deal? Oh god. It's us. I forgot. She's up ahead. Keep your voice down. Okay. Let's go. I guess that I, we're, the thing is, right? I totally trust that she is taking care of herself, and that she would actually make it out fine without us. And what I think is gonna happen <laughs> is we're gonna screw everything up. There's bottles of wine everywhere. Where's the? Other, I mean, I'm assuming it's wine. Where's the other person? Is she waiting on their ship? Oh, the, the little girl. I can't hear what they're saying. Quiet. Let me listen. I should do voices, really. Um, bones. Goodness, look who the rat sent us. A witch? Are they still talking about the capybara? Isn't finding caves what you do best? That's what I thought. Didn't you people locate every single cave there is in the peaks during the war? I can't I can find them, but I need runners to help me explore. I believe this is what you're good at. So you tell us where to go and we dig up the place. What's a split? 50-50? Oh. None. It's all your oh, we're not actually making a deal. I was like <laughs> I was into this deal. It's all yours. I want to know what you find. It's not very convincing, though. Get out of here. No splits. Never seen a deal like this, lads. And you're falling for it? But I have one condition. If you and United Mining are searching for the same cave, you have to beat them to it. Oh, we're we making it like a personal vendetta against United Mining. Maybe we have true feelings about this. Maybe United Mining like killed our family. Haha. -ha. That's it? Who'd sneak into caves expecting to be caught? Huh? Oh, you're talking about Ida? So we have a deal? For a deal this good? You know, moments ago I thought I hated witches. I don't blame you. I feel the same way about myself. You self-righteous witches thought you were doing the right thing when you sided with United Mining the, to end this stupid war. And now the whole peaks is just one big lawless mess. It was a foolish war and a foolish decision. These people here 
They're all peekers who were displaced by the war. I've forgotten what peekers means. If it weren't for you, pe if it weren't for you people, we wouldn't be here doing this kind of business. So my revenge starts with you, liar. Wait, I'm not lying. Uh oh. Remember when I had all the trust that she was gonna pull this off? Something's going on. Don't go. It's too late. Ugh. Uh... Right, so if it was me, Kaya's right, it's too late. I get amateurish vibes from this guy though. I think he would just run in. <laughs> what if we all just get shot? Is there bad ends like right <laughs> right now? Okay, let's I can't just sit and watch. I think he's gonna run in. Oh god, what have I done? I admire your courage, but I don't do business with liars. Oh no. Alright lads, send her off. No! Did that change things? I think it did because I got an, emer an emergency. <laughs> um, uh, what's it called? Achievement. It's a trap, she's got back up. I, okay. I kind of regret this. Maybe K is just our absolute bro. We should have gone with K. Never mind. Uh, it's a trap. She's got back up. Don't move. I have the witch. Wait. I don't know them. I caught one. Stay back. Let me handle this. I said don't move. We have ourselves a standoff. One more step and I blow her head off. Who do you work for? Lumen Association? United Mining? Boss, we found a ship hiding on the dark side of the asteroid. The model's from East Ocean. It's a noble ship. Maybe noble doesn't mean what I think it means. They found Coon? So they found our ship. They still haven't found her ship. Oh god, we've invented this scenario. <laughs> but at least we've got someone stealthy outside still. To rescue us all. A witch and two Oceania nobles? What what combination is this? And what are you doing all the way out here? I don't know them! Shut up! You almost had me there. Damn it. This is bad. Mistakes. What if Kay gets killed because of us? <gasps> hey you, big guy, don't move. You look like you've seen some action. You know what to do next, yeah? <sighs> Surrender? Like we're outnumbered. What, what, what can we possibly do? Like we shoot their guy, he shoots her, they shoot us. There's no win here. Kay knows. Kay's wise. We are dumb. <laughs> yeah, I know what to do. Kay, we're here to save Good Lumen. Wait, Good Lumen, nobody move. I only have two requests. First one, oh, on the count of three, you let it go. I let him go. Second, you leave our ship alone. I can agree to the first one, but we won't. But you want me to let your fancy ship go? But boss, this is the one that we've got, right? Huh, guess you're worth a ship now. If you all agree, I'm counting to three. Have to say, you got me good. One. That was a pretty convincing act, liar. Now walk. I really don't know these people. <laughs> she wants to stay with bones too. Hey kid, I heard you wash your ears take. Oh, you don't look so tough. But your servant, he's pretty good. Don't say a word, John. Oh, this is intense. 
Aren't you worried he'll betray you? K is my guardian! How dare you insult! I knew it. Motherfucker. I made mistakes. K! <laughs> Shit. So... Wait, that was intense. Sometimes the, the writing goes without me. Um, so I missed some of it. Well, obviously, because it was a countdown, it had to do that. Uh, this was... I should have listened to him. Should have listened. I think we would have all got out unscathed if we'd have listened. Fuck! <clears throat> Why did they shoot him? So he threw the girl at me. Did they just shoot him because he was threatening? He threw their person to them, and then they shot him. You're new to the game, aren't you, kid? Never reveal yourself in a fight. I told you though, right? As much as I regret that decision, I feel like this is in character. Otherwise, I can just take you out first, yeah? Huh? Hey, this kid is the noble. Lock them all up and bring in their ship. Oh, is it because... We said he's our guardian, so that's why they killed him, because he's the guardian and now we have no one to guard us, uh, and that must mean we're valuable. I'm the noble. Okay. Lock them all up and bring their ship. Okay, well, now we're going to get ransomed. <laughs> what about the witch, boss? Same. Lock her up. Hey, boss. This witch tried to set us up. I reckon we should kill her just to be safe. I said lock her up. And don't you dare lay a finger on her. Boss? We're pirates, not butchers. Okay, so he has morals. There is a moral code among pirates. Ugh, the gate isn't responding to my performance. Okay, so they've locked us up in this big giant room with like all sorts happening in here. He didn't die. He's still alive. Maybe we have healing. They even removed the song pipes. Well, yeah, that's what you would do in a prison. <laughs> uh, you would lock it from the outside, right? But I'm surprised they didn't take our stick. I believe I can help. I'll figure out. <laughs> I'll figure a way out. This is what I mean. He's really immature. So it, it goes. He's rash and immature. And he thinks he knows it all and he knows absolutely nothing. You're using a copy of that star song they sold at the market, right? A, de a degraded sample isn't going to work no matter what you do. Besides, this would have been part of their plan. If you don't get a cleaner sample from somewhere deep in the cave, you'll have no way of opening that gate. Otherwise, they would have taken your scythe scepter already. I did wonder why they didn't take it, but what? We need to find a sample deep in the cave. But why would they lock us in? Or is she talking about the agency people back in the on the main mainland back on the trading outpost hmm. I'm not entirely sure okay oh so we can no right we don't need that just yet manufacturer united mining corp certificate of inspection united Lun lumen processing plant Cherish the environment. Use 98 hybrid lumen. Oh, is it hybrid to try and dilute it? To spread it further? Like, but I guess it won't work as well, though, will it? So, oh, this is... They didn't mine this themselves, right? They're smuggling it from somewhere, so it's not actually legit. Smuggling containers. So, yeah, they look nearly identical to their commercial counterparts, but they're not actually... They're fake. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. 
But these are probably more watered down than the other ones. Why am I falling for everything? When we were making the deal as Eda, I was like, yes, I'm so into this deal. And then with this, I was like reading the warning instructions, like let's save, save the environment. I was like, yes, let's save the environment. But it's fake anyway. This isn't designed to save the environment. This is smuggling business. Principles of the Ring Liberation Front. 8531 edition. Ring Liberation Front. Endless Lumen, like the way that the belt may rise again one day. Whoa, that rhymes. Uh, they, they have been saying, like, follow the lumen and let it guide the way and stuff. Uh, because I guess they see it as a holy substance if it created their gods. These principles guided the Ring Liberation Front's guerrilla squad, a group of warriors who opposed United Mining. After the Lumen War, many of them became mercenaries or pirates. So the Ring Liberation Front is the people who helped uh, fight against United Mining to make it a free country again or a free market. Okay. Uh, hold on. They've locked us in a cave with a computer in it? Okay. So these circles all represent different gods. Binary. Uh, Binary is two gods whose head and tail are adjoined, never to meet, representing the never-ending flow of space and time. Oh my goodness. Legend has it that the gates of Binary binari reach beyond time and space and those who pass through may be met with anyone from anywhere <gasps> imagine that that's also a fun concept just like being able to walk through a gate and be greeted by be greeted by anyone from anywhere imagine who you'd meet it's a lottery imagine somebody would do that and then on the other side of the gate is me <laughs> <laughs> what a sad lottery okay um traveling peakers would often utter the prayers of binary 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 to each other before setting off on long journeys okay so i've forgotten what peakers are but i'm just trying to understand two gods whose head and tail are adjoined so it's like the tail, the other god's hair? That's bizarre. But never to meet. So like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand the image. But the idea is cool. Never ending flow of space and time. It's like infinity. Uh, okay. It's a circle of science, <laughs> physics. Is time physics? Uh, I don't know what's gonna move us on. Is the thing like I want to go for here, but I want to talk. I mean, it's important that we talk to K right now. Is he all right? I applied some basic basic first aid. That's all I can do for now. This isn't good. Hey. Don't give me lo that look. I'm fine. I just need some rest. Did you not just get shot in the gut? It's all my fault. Well, it's a good learning experience for the future clan master. Don't worry about it. Oh, maybe a clan master is a noble. Like, that is literally the king. And then the other nobles are like the king's brothers. Uh, it is a good learning experience. That's one reason I also wanted to do it, was because I was thinking, maybe we'll learn from it in the future. This, this guy is in the phase of his life where he needs to make mistakes in order to learn from them. Let me know if you need any help. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Don't worry, I just need some rest. Okay, let's look at this. If we don't find a way out soon, Kay will bleed to death. Okay, so we're searching for a way out. I guess we're gonna talk 
Oh, look. She's got, like, light. Is that a fridge? She's got light shining on her. Is that because she's our saviour? <sighs> How did things end up like this? Because you kind of stole our intel. Yeah. What? You need me to wrap you up too? You think we got you into this, don't you? I just helped you. What are you going on about? I apologize, but at the time, you looked like you were in danger. What are you trying to say? That you helped me? I mean, no such thing. But Kay is an honorable East Ocean warrior, and I hope you understand the reason for our actions. Kay saved it. Like, I thought we had to surrender. If I was Kay, we all surrendered just then. Uh, instead... I mean, it kind of would have ended up the same, I guess. We would have just ended up locked up. But instead, we... <laughs> what was the point in exchanging our hostages when we still ended up stuck in the place? Maybe I was smarter all along. Uh, at least he wouldn't have got shot if we'd have just surrendered. <laughs> or maybe we would have got executed. But they're not butchers, so I don't think so. Uh, okay. Oh, of course. I'm so grateful for your display of honour, kind nobles. Was that sarcasm? I'd appreciate if you didn't speak that way. Enough! My negotiations were going along fine, and look what happened. You broke into a situation you had no idea about, and your partner ended up getting hurt. I was... Sir... Don't yell at the lady. Find a way out. Focus on what matters. Hey, you there. Wait. Where is this pirate? Hey, you there. You trying to open that gate? Oh, there. There he is. No use trying, mate. Last guy we locked in here tried to do the same thing. My boss told me to come and thank you. Your ship is so pretty. We're taking extra care with each part we remove. No. Don't touch Kuhn. Once we sell the parts, maybe it's Kun? Don't know. Once we sell the parts, I reckon we won't have to work for at least a half year. Really appreciate that, mate. <laughs> Don't touch it. Half a year. That's a haul. And that fake witch over there? No need to blame the guy. You wouldn't have made it out either. Even the boss let you go. The rest of... Oh, even if the boss let you go, the rest of us wouldn't. Not for a self-proclaimed witch. Okay, maybe we would have got killed. I, I need to see the scene again where Kay got shot because maybe he... Maybe it wasn't even the leader. Maybe it was just, like, the gang. They seem a bit unruly. When the boss isn't looking, you'll see. Ugh. That's a threat. I'm fine. Sorry, I was a little too harsh. I was just frustrated. Shh, give me a moment. Oh, is she talking to Remy? Edie, finally, what happened? Keep it down, I'm fine. I'm in a bit of trouble. I told you, I told you. Don't worry, we'll just stick to plan C. Fortunately, they had the decency to not search my body. I'll contact you later. What? What is this light that she stood in? Uh, how did you... What? Keep my communications device? I did a good job hiding it. What, is it like implanted in a neck? What is that? Hold on, that's not just any communications device. 
It was used on the Union... No, United Mine and Lumen Seekle Vessel. Oh my god. <laughs> Seekle Vessels. It was used on the United Mining Lumen Seeking Vessels during the war by... Witches? Who are you? A soldier? What are you finding caves for? So... I still think there's some truth to the deal that she wants to make. She wants to mine the caves before the United Mining people do because they screwed her over for something. I'm just a prisoner like you and I plan to get out. I don't know if witches are just like human-esque, just humans with powers or if they're like if there's any way to tell if someone's a witch, because I still don't know if she's actually a witch or not. No need to be wary, I assure you, we're on the same side. Who are you talking to? The other person you met at the market, my pilot. She's very reliable. You mentioned a plan C. What is it? My escape plan. You have a plan? Only half a plan, actually. I just didn't want to worry her. What about the other half? I'm not sure yet. Let me think a bit. I mean, she wouldn't need to, to have had another plan if we'd have just let her do the first plan. Oh, here we go. A military vocalizer. A communication device hidden beneath Ida's hair, which also has the ability to adjust one's timber. It, tim... Is that how you say that word? Tomba. <laughs> Isn't that like something to do with sound? Like, hmm. It was used to assist soldiers with injured throats. Oh. Afterward, I found that Bones hadn't confiscated it partially out of sympathy and partially because of his confidence that no one would encroach on his territory. I really like that the memories are written from the perspective of the future looking back. So like it gives us a little, this little tidbit that we found out that it was partially because of sympathy. So is this telling us, does it, does it mean it adjusts one's tim, I need to google what that means actually, but does it mean it adjusts one's timber thing? Because she, she got her throat injured, she was a soldier. And were, were they getting injured throats? Why? Why were they getting injured throats? And is it because? Can she not talk or be heard without that? Let me just uh, define that word, actually. Define. The character or quality of a musical sound or voice as distinct from its pitch and intensity. Okay, so pitch would be like high and low. Intensity would be like maybe volume. The timber is something else. Distinctive quality. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what... I want to know more about this stuff. <laughs> Military vocalizer. I wonder if she can use it to make... To, like, sing the songs from... I feel like some of this may have been told to us. Uh, in the description but I can't remember the description but because that was before I had any more context but I wonder if that allows her to like sing the the songs because it shouldn't matter while we're in here anyway because it's on the outside I mean that didn't actually make a song noise did it it was just magical particles let me know if you need help hey you who were we saying that to? You done with that gate? Even if you did open it, we have guys on the other side too. So give up. <laughs> Imagine if we just got it open and they're all just stood there with the guns. So we just have to like, shut it again. <laughs> Without movement. Oh god, he's getting worse. Please, Kay's hurt. I need to get him out. Do you have any ideas? How well do you perform? <laughs> now, eh? You saw me try. I couldn't open the gate. So, performing is using this scythe thing. No, synth scythe or something. 
And is it magic? Is it performing magic? Uh, if you need a better star song, I can record one for you. Because we're not performing if we have a copy of it on a USB. That's what's confusing me. I can record one for you. We should be near the center of the cave, so I'll see what I can hear. Oh, because these asteroids each produce their own song or something? When I start singing, all you need to do is point your synth scepters recorder towards me. How is that possible? She's a witch? Or because of the military thing? Be careful, she could be a real witch. During the war, their ability to sense Newman allowed them to seek out caves and other ships, making them effectively human radars. Is that what you say to the person who treated your wounds? Don't associate me with those witches of war. Like, she could still be a witch, but she clearly has some annoyance for the war. I'm a witch of the Red Chamber. Oh, here we go. I focus on cultivating my soul, not becoming an instrument of war. Cool, the red chamber. So she is a witch. I know what you're thinking. If I can produce star songs, why don't I just open the gate myself? Opening Mirian gates requires a vocal technique that some witches possess. Unfortunately, my throat is incapable of it. Do you trust me now? May we begin? Is a throat incapable of it because of why did the soldiers have injured throats? Is it because they sung so much that they destroyed their throats and could no longer do it? Or is that device she's got like stopping her from being able to do it? Or is it kind of like rolling your eyes where like some people can do it and some can't? I trust you're an honourable person. What does singing have to do with honour? Well, if it gets us out alive... Ready to record. Come closer. I can't sing very loudly. Oh, that was sweet. That was the star song of this asteroid. The symbol should allow you to open the gate with your scythe scepter. The uh, wispy witch's star song. So that was like four, no, that was like six or eight notes there. So they're all like a little selection of notes. A sample of Ida's voice from when we first met. It was faint, as if it had been damaged. But her voice, it was so beautiful that I'll never forget it. We've fallen in love. Maybe. So it was faint as, it, as if it had been damaged. But that's when we first met. It doesn't really give us any inclination as to whether it's going to recover. Maybe we can help her though. Oops, wrong button. Wispy Witch's star song. That was beautiful. It's nothing. She's embarrassed. So, now that we can open the gate, what's next? At least the gate didn't hear us singing that. That's where the missing half comes in. Even if we do open the gate, I don't know how we can spe sneak past the pirates unless there's some way to distract them. Oh no. What it? Okay. <laughs> Why am I so morbid? I was like, Kay's gonna stay behind. I have an idea. Ooh. We can open the gate and just run for it. This is what this guy would say. But. I also, like, that's really cool. I can offer. Wait. I can offer them my ship to let us go. They already have our ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to be a deal that they're going to take. I need some way to connect to my ship. Maybe if we can, like, remote control it, we can, like, cause some havoc. 
The signals of an ocean ship should be easy enough to filter. But how will you control it if it's not activated? I can hear its engines. They're definitely activated. They definitely activated my ship. Oh, we can hear the engine of our ship right now. Once the gate's open. I can give you the ship's access code or I can fly it around to distract them. Uh, how is she hacking into our ship though? Via Remy? Was Remy a name? Uh, I'm gonna... I should fly it. I can fly it around to distract them. Oh, that's too dangerous. You don't know what the state of the ship is in right now. What if they stop it before it even takes off? It was a good plan! It was a good plan! I have an idea! Okay, I need somewhere to connect to my ship. Maybe it's the access codes one. I can give you the ship's access code. Are you serious? It's worth considering. Here we go. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Even if we have like a self-destruct or something. You're right, this really could work. This is outrageous, sir. Your crew member, the pilot, is she ready for this? She's already standing by. In a moment she'll enter the port and pretend to be a cargo ship in distress. <laughs> uh, if these pirates fall for that, they're idiots. I mean, they probably will actually, and they'll take it as an opportunity. But, it's a big coincidence. She looks very young, is that safe? Don't worry, she grew up dealing with pirates. What about you? You should know that there's no guarantee this will work. Are you really willing to do this? Ooh. How could I lose... Ooh, is this our history? Did we lose some sort of competition to, like, win the crown? How could I lose? That boy tried to open the gate before comprehending its frequency. Much too impulsive. Yes, he is totally impulsive. That's a perfect word to describe him. Which clan is he from? He belongs to Lee. Uh, that insignificant clan with the mining rights to Shimon and Tianjia. Insignificant clan? How rude. So, wait, these are the nobles. We're not a noble? The clan that failed negotiations with United Mining and was driven out a thousand peaks? No wonder. Are we literally from the clan that like betrayed everyone <laughs> your majesty that was an unfair this was an unfair competition my opponent had the inscri inscriptions memorized beforehand i had no choice but to rush okay be quiet sir your majesty the young master of lee questions your judgment Please forgive him, your majesty. My young master is not good with words. He implies no such thing. Okay, this is my responsibility. Oh, this, wait, this is the Lee clan master. Watch yourself, both of you step back. This is an intervention. Please forgive my failure to discipline my people, your majesty. We're causing so much shit. I place my trust in you, Clan Master, the Emperor of the East Ocean Lumen Alliance. Okay. This is the Emperor. Issue the verdict. At 12 standard time, 351-340 e of the East Ocean calendar, the 16th heir of the Lee Clan entered a match for the mining rights to De Tong. Oh. As the cosmos bears witness, the match has concluded with the defeat of Lee. Therefore, the mining rights of De Tong will be revoked. 
from the 16th air. So we were kind of trial by combat to win the rights to a mine? Damn. In addition, the Lee clan committed further offence by questioning the results of the match. But it's corrupt, right? Because... Oh, right, are we just being defensive or are we being real that they cheated? We're 16th in line to the clan. So, yeah, okay. As such, the Lee's clan's mining rights to all grade 1 caves, including Shimon, Yishan and Xianjia, are henceforth revoked, effective immediately. That's harsh. What kind of... What kind of system is this? How are we going to live? <laughs> Your Majesty, please. Revoking our mining rights will deprive the clan of its livelihood. Exactly, yeah. You should learn to keep your people in check, clan master. This is ridiculous. The defeat suffered here today pales in comparison to the reckless actions we have witnessed. For this, the Lee clan will always be inferior. This guy needs taken down a peg or two. Hey. Are you alright? I'm fine, we just flash back to our past. It's okay. Stay focused. My pilot has just entered the port. She's pretending to negotiate with them right now. If we take any longer, they might ask her to open the cabin. So we've got to go and meet her out there now. Open the gate when you're ready. We're running out of time. Okay, let's do the escape. And then we'll call it a day. Kun's gonna be completely taken apart if we take any longer. I need some way to connect to the onboard system. Oh, this has given us hints. Uh, okay. We gotta get you up, buddy. Don't do this. It's not worth it. What would you suggest we do? So, we definitely just found out a little bit about our history. That we have, like... We are responsible for our clan, like, unfairly lose, like, we are a scapegoat. They wanted to shit on us, and they used us in, as an excuse, I'm sure of it. But we lost a rigged competition, and then when we stood up for ourselves, we got, like, even more taken away from us. That's a setup. But I don't feel like that's exactly what led to this except also Kate was calling us master then as well I wonder how big these clans are but we're 16th in line maybe that makes us like if you think of it like the royal family like the those distant cousins or something <laughs> uh, we still have someone to like serve us but we're not actually like... Okay, right, okay. The concerning thing... Okay, okay, I just thought of something. At the end, we are the clan leader. We were 16th in line. What the fuck happened? I mean, okay, people die. But they would have had kids that were closer in line than we were, right? Sounds like something really bad happened. Or is gonna happen. Okay, so I have to do this, don't I? Open the gate when you're ready. We're running out of time. Wispy Witch Assar song. The gate is responding. I can start the performance. Before we start, I'd just like to reintroduce myself. My name is... Oh... Edgelo... Edeloon? Edeloon? Of the Red Chamber Trading Vessel. It's a pleasure to meet you, Noble. Call me Jun. Third rank Noble of Lee. Ninth of East Ocean Clans. Okay. This man is Kay, my guardian, whom I share life and death. 
Maria Neverlasting, thank you for offering to do this. If we make it out alive, I owe you my life. I need no such thing. I mean, we also came here ourselves to save her life. <laughs> Maybe we just owe each other, but also don't owe each other anything if we get out alive. I'm sorry, Kay, but those pirates will leave you here to die. I must save you. Please, this isn't worth it. What, what are you talking about, Kay? We're not... We're not giving anything up here except our ship. But, like, we're gonna make it out. We're all set. As soon as the gate opens, my pilot will send the signal to your ship. I mean, I guess the alternative is they probably contact our clan. But, again, it said something about us being exiled, so I don't know. Uh, they might not even care. We're all set. As soon as the gate opens, my pilot will send the signal to your ship. What is the plan with our ship here? Focus. Concentrate on the star song. So this is the performance. Oh. Right. Uh, to tune the star song, adjust the volume and resonate. Oops. How? So do I just need to match those things? Or something? Oh, look. Now we're on every other one. Do I need to put the spokes on the thingies? Like that. Oh, I did it! May East Ocean greet your return. She's in your hands now. Oh, that's the access code? I'm sorry, Kuhn. Rip ship. But also wreck some shit on your way out. Oh, it does have a self-destruct. Okay. That was probably our entire lives on that ship. We were losing it anyway though, right? Mirian Gate. Within the Mirian Shrines, to separate lower and higher deities, only the gods that could chant the inscriptions on the massive gates were allowed to come and go. And it seems like this is what we were competing uh, at that time was to get this uh, like we were racing or something with somebody else to open these doors oh god okay let's escape idiot worked just when they started to suspect me that ship went boom I don't know how you managed to find an ocean here an ocean ship but damn that felt good everyone at the port is going nuts now's your chance we have to hurry, my pirate is already here. Okay, let's go. I just need to know if K survives. I don't want him to, he's gonna make a, oh, he's gonna make a heroic sacrifice. And I'm not having it. No heroic sacrifices allowed. I'm at the port, ramp six. Go and forgive me. Does the ship like ha have sentience? Okay, are you all right? Get them! Damn it, shoot the kid! Hurry. I'm not leaving him. He's gonna get shot again. He's gonna be my meat shield, isn't he? Oh no. Ugh. Stop them. They're trying to shoot me so they can ransom me. Maybe. This is ramp six, right? Where's your pilot? There, watch out. Invisible? Oh no. Very not. What is that ship? Good lumen. Something something. It's a United Mining Lumen Seeking vessel. Oh. Hey, aren't you those thugs from the market? <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, don't come near our ship. Where are the people you're bringing, E.T.? Not them on board, Remy. No way. There's no time. No time to explain. They're coming for us. Did we make it? Because climbing that ladder isn't easy. Even when you're fit. Bones Brigade Base. Escape Passage. Red Chamber Bridge. So did these guys defect from the army? Warning. Heat signal locked on. Emergency takeoff. Let's go, Red Chamber. We got on. Pull safety levels down to 31%. So this is the ship AI. So glad we got on. We lost our ship. We lost everything. But K is still alive. That's the main thing. Don't come near the flight deck. <laughs> He's just dying there. Don't worry, Kay. We'll be out of here soon. You two grab a hold of something. They should be thrown in the airlock and ejected. <laughs> Sus. Hurry, please. Prepare for hyper travel. Calculating velocity. Locating destination. Destination located. Entering hyper travel in five. Four, three, two, one. No? What's wrong? Hyper travel failed. The engine is overheated. Restarting the engines. That's bad. Remy! I don't know. This has never happened to a red chamber. Were the engines damaged on the way out? Sounds like it. Hey, witch. This is a lumen seeking vessel, isn't it? Okay, you have to sit still. I don't know how you kids got this ship, but listen. Don't tell us what to do with our ship. Listen, damn it. I know how to fix this. These are support vessels for seeking out the enemy. If you enter hyper travel right after takeoff, it'll lock up the engines. You'll need to override the ship's authorization levels. Give this to the witch, Jun. Hyper travel instructions? What, we just have them in our pocket? I still remember the startled look on Edith's face when Kay scribbled- Oh, he's, he's sat and scribbled them. When Kay scribbled the instructions on a piece of paper I handed her, she never would have thought the Ocean of Guardian who stood beside her was a seasoned Lumen War veteran. I mean, that seems like a good, like, a war veteran could be a good bodyguard for a clan. Uh, so he, so he knows the vessel because he fought in the war. But how did they get it? Because he, he also knew that the device on her throat was um, something to do with the war and soldiers also. Um, so she's had something to do with the war and they have a warship. Well, it's not a warship, it's the uh, thingy seeking vessels, right? Hmm. There's a lot happening. Hyper travel instructions. Oh, I have to give them, don't I? <laughs> I was like, okay, what now? Hold on, can we look around? This is the perfect time <laughs> to be exploring. No. Do this! Will this really fix it? Hyperspeed enabled. It worked! The engines are back up. <sighs> Can't believe it worked. Remy! Okay, okay. Preparing for hyper travel. Warning. The ship has locked on. Warning. Armor damage on the left, left flank. Counting down. Four. Okay, your wounds. Can you handle the acceleration? Hmm. I've been through worse. <laughs> you worry too much. Sit tight, you two, and press the wounds. Three. Oh god, what if 
What if he can't handle it and it just sucks all the blood out of him? Is John right? Sorry, something. Thank you for saving me, too. It's chaos! I'm the one who should thank you for saving Kay. One! Hold tight, we're taking off! And away we go. Hyper speed seems useful in space. Somebody tell me who these people are! <laughs> Perfect! It looks like we've gotten to the end of the chapter. Chapter 2, part 1? Was that the prologue? I was going to say prelogue. End of the chapter! We done it! Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, the story of Ida goes back long before I met her, 66 years ago. I do, I remember, and then I forget that we are being told this by old John. Um, okay. I have no idea how the saves work in this game. I assume the next chapter then, maybe we're going further back to learn about Ida. Um... Maybe? I don't really know. I kind of want to press on, but it has been a long video and it is time to call it for the for the game. So, let's have a think then. This was, op hold on, Opus Echoes of Star Song. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. That was cool. I'm trying to think, I think I stand with this the same as I stood with Kentucky Route Zero. So... I like it. I want to continue playing it. I'm curious if anyone else wants to see it because I would be happy enough to play this by myself. I don't need to play this as a let's play uh, like for, my, for myself. I don't have the desperate urge to do that but I will do that if anyone wants to see it. Uh, so I would really like to know if anybody would like to see the rest of this game uh, do let me know and I can very easily continue or if not, if there's no interest or anything, I will just continue playing this myself. Um, I believe from the internet this game's like, oh, now I could be making this up, I believe it's about 10 hours long but you can double that when it comes to reading it out loud usually. Um, but it, like people that know the game might have a better idea of how long that first chapter takes generally compared to how long it's taken me and it kind of gave us an idea of how many chapters there are on that chapter change screen I just don't know if the chapters are all going to be a similar length if like the pillars that were on it correspond to the chapter length or if it's you know if there's some shorter ones some longer ones I don't know um but that is where we end this video today anyway. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've really got absorbed into it. I was in a bit of a strange trance actually uh, where I feel like I was like I'm very tired today and I felt like I was like getting sleepy but then I would become aware like every 15 minutes and I would be like whoa I've been so into this that time's just passed. Um, so I'm really gonna have to look back on the recording and make sure I didn't fall asleep. But I don't think I did because I think I took everything in. I think I was just like hyper focused. Uh, so that's a sign of uh, having a fun time. <laughs> so yeah, again though, I would be happy to play this myself if people weren't bothered about seeing the rest. If people would like to see the rest, I'd be more than happy to finish it as a series. Uh, so do let me know either in the comments or anywhere. I think I've decided I'm going to put some polls up uh, after I've finished to to see whether people, like on YouTube, uh, in the community tab, I can do posts and I can make polls in there. So I can make a poll for Death Star, a poll for Kentucky Route Zero, a poll for this, and I can just be like, would you like to see this as a series? Yes or no? And then people can vote. But the most effective way is just let me know if you've enjoyed it. So like leave a comment on the video, leave a like. Um, the more kind of engagement it gets, the more I'm likely to decide, okay, I will do this as a let's play. Um, 
because uh, if there's engagement at least I know that people have enjoyed it whereas if there's no engagement I don't know if it's just because people haven't seen it or if just people aren't interested or if it's not good uh so that's the way with any of these series is if you would like to sit, see more then I highly stress just to reach out in one way or another whether it's social media comments anything like that uh and that is the end of day 11 of 12 days of game pass we're nearly there there's one more and i'm really excited to play it um i think a lot of people have already guessed what it is and i can't wait this one is a one that has been interesting to me for a while and i've avoided a lot about it uh and i'm looking forward to seeing what it is so Anyway, you're going to have to hang on to that suspense <laughs> until tomorrow for the final day of 12 Days of Game Pass. Oh, 12 Days of Game Pass. Uh, 12 Days of Game Pass. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.